welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Today is day 51 with a 70 days journey to the Bible. If you like this video and want to receive next and more videos, hit the burning bush button right here to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a thing. For a better understanding of today's portion and the maximum result, please see the interactive study guide on the description section below. Now, fill out your own answers on a separate sheet as you watch this video. Now get your pen, paper, and most importantly, your Bible. Are you ready for the journey? Let's go! 46. This is the ordinance of offerings. 47. Water will flow from the temple to make things live. 48. This is about the vision of the land and a portion for the priests, princes, and other tribes. The city will be called the Lord is there. Okay, we just finished the book of Ezekiel. Let's move on to the next stop, the book of Daniel. And then we'll draw a map of Ezekiel and Daniel together. Chapter 1. Daniel and his three friends were chosen for Babylonian education with a special care, but they refused to defile themselves with Babylonian food. God gave them knowledge and intelligence. Chapter 2. The king Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, but no one could interpret but God showed the dream to Daniel. Daniel praised God, and he interpreted the dream for the king. The king praised Daniel's God. The dream was about the future of nations. Chapter 3. The king established a golden statue for everyone to bow down to, otherwise they would be thrown into fire. But Daniel's friends refused to bow down to the golden statue, so they were thrown into fire, but God protected them. The king said, No other God saved in this way. Chapter 4. The king had a second dream, and it was about himself. He became proud of himself, and he was kicked out of the palace, just as his dream meant. And after the period of time God assigned Lane had passed, the king came back to his senses. He praised God, saying, God is the Most High. Chapter 5. The next king did not worship God, knowing all his father praised God. He was killed. Chapter 6. Daniel served the next king, Darius, as a commissioner, but other commissioners were jealous of Daniel, and they put Daniel into a lion's den. But God protected Daniel from the lions. Darius the king praised God, saying, He is the living God and enduring forever. Chapter 7. This is about the vision of four beasts. The Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. To him was given dominion, glory, and kingdom. Chapter 8. This is the vision of the ram and goat, meaning future kings. Chapter 9. Daniel prayed for repentance of people depending on God's mercy. Chapter 10. Daniel was terrified by vision. There was a voice saying, Don't be afraid. Your prayer was heard since the day you set your heart and humbled before God. Chapter 11. This is the vision about different kings and conflicts. People who know their God will display strength and take action. Chapter 12. This is about end time. Everyone written in the book will be saved. Okay, this is the end of the book of Daniel. Let's draw a map of Ezekiel and Daniel. Ezekiel was a priest. Whereas Daniel was king's official. It is kind of similar to Ezra and Nehemiah. Both Ezekiel and Daniel had a lot of visions from God. Ezekiel's vision was about the temple of God, and Daniel's vision was about future kings and the nations. Ezekiel saw the temple of God was ruined because of Israel and Judah's abomination. They defiled the temple, and the glory of God left. And they were like dry bones, totally devastated without hope and life. However, God made the dead bones become alive, and they became a mighty military army. And God restored the temple, and the glory of God filled the temple. And the living water flows out of the temple to make everything living. God clearly says, I am the Lord, which is the main message 
of the book of Ezekiel. Now Daniel saw a vision of a future kings and the nations coming, but they all perish. But the but the true king, the son of man, comes with a cloud of heaven and he will reign forever. Through Daniel's dream interpretation, miraculous deliverance from the fire and lion, lion's den, the powerful pagan kings worshipped God and said, He is the Lord. Okay, I hope you got the idea of these two wonderful books. Now, let's move on to the next one, the book of Hosea. Chapter 1, God told Hosea to marry an adulterous woman to have adulterous children. He named his children, not my people. But God will restore Israel and call her my people. Chapter 2, Israel was unfaithful to God, but God loves her. God said, I will make a covenant for them. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness. She will know the Lord. Chapter 3. The sons of Israel will return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and they will come trembling to the Lord. Now, do you see Christ in today's passages? Daniel saw the vision of the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Jesus called himself as the Son of Man. Matthew 24, 30 says, And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. Jesus is saying that the vision Daniel saw is being fulfilled by Jesus Christ himself. Daniel also saw that the Son of Man is above all powers and dominions. Ephesians 1.21 also says, Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. Jesus is the Son of Man coming with glory. So how should we live? Let's live like Daniel. He was in the midst of pagan world. They were far from God worshipping idols. However, Daniel was not conformed to the culture he lived in. Yet he faithfully lived trusting the Lord. He was a man of prayer, seeing what God showed to him through vision. Although you may not see the vision as Daniel did, you have the revelation from God in your hand, the Bible. No matter what the world says, pay attention to what God says in the Bible. Pray fervently as Daniel did, looking for the second coming of the Son of Man who will come in the cloud of heaven. Now what do you think? Please share your points of applications with us. Did you fill out the blanks in the today's study guide? Answer keys for today's session will be in the next video, so please check it out. The answers from the last videos are Confidence, Lord, Watchman, God, Spirit, Law, Reunited, There, Temple, Glory. Thank you for finishing watching this video. This is just a summary of the chapter, so please read the actual Bible and read chapters assigned for today. After you read today's portion, find the 70 days reading log in the description section below and put your unique icon or emoji in the day 51 box. Also, if you have any questions, prayer requests, and thoughts to share after reading today's portion or watching this video, feel free to leave your comments here. Thank you so much again and see you tomorrow for the next amazing 17 chapters.